is Professor Patio, a mathematics expert from the San Francisco Unified School District. This video is about the learning outcome called collaboration. Now collaboration is just a fancy word that according to the Oxford Dictionary means the action of working with someone to produce or create something. In all classes, not just math, collaboration has all of these parts. But your math teacher will only focus on a few of these for grading. For example, in math class, he will focus on contribution and development of ideas, equal participation, group norms, respectful tone and style, and team support, and also positive body language and active listening. Math class is not the only place where collaboration is important. When you become older and you get a job, you need to be able to work with all people, especially random people whom you may not know or necessarily get along with. In Mr. Dale Campos' 6th grade math class, collaboration is worth 20% of your grade. When Mr. Dale Campo is standing to the side and listening to your group work, he may be grading you on some of these categories, or he may be grading you on all of, all of the six categories for collaboration, or all of these six collaboration categories. Before each class, or before each group work experience, he will say the group norms that you need to follow so that you can have a successful group experience. Mr. Dale Campo asked all of his students to glue this page into their notebooks so that you always would have the group norms handy. This all means that being good at collaboration is not really about completing the math work. It also means Collaboration also means how well you can follow the group norms. When doing group work, Mr. Dale Campo might not care if you finish the whole page. So it's not really about finishing the whole worksheet. Mr. Da Mr. Dale Campo will grade you instead on how well you are being helpful to a student who needed help. And in terms of all of these categories. In fact, these group norms are very much connected to these collaboration categories. These are supposed to be arrows. These lines are arrows pointing to how these norms match up with these collaboration categories. Mr. Dale Campo be, will also be using the same group norms that all other sixth grade classes will use. Also, Mr. Dale Campo or your teammates will be grading your collaboration at the end of group work. So for example, this student named Anna Oop graded her classmates Bill Nye and Gina Doe using these amounts of points. And so Bill has a collaboration grade and Gina has a collaboration grade because Anna filled out this peer evaluation form. I wish you the best of luck with building your collaboration skills this school year. Take care. Bye.